Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to use the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadow Play application. So to get into this, you either go through um, the desktop application, which uh, if that's this, nope, that's not that one. Mm. GeForce Experience. And I forgot there was an update for it. Rule of thumb, if you're ever going to make a YouTube channel, make sure your stuff is all put together before you actually start the video. Um, yeah, this, this is why. Alright, so what you can do is you can go into here and you can click the open in-game overlay, which will pop shadow play right up. Or if you don't want to do that, I think it's Alt Z. Uh, by default, I changed it to Alt X because in Photoshop you have to use Control Alt Z and it would pop up all the time. Um, so to change the recording settings, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. You can live stream, but for doing it on ultra wides and all like I have, it it gets weird, and I don't really use it that much to begin with. Um. So you just click on it, go into settings, and I have it set to the in-game resolution. And you can actually choose like 4K, 1440p, which is not 2K. 2K, I don't have the resolution memorized, but it's not 1440p actually. Um, you can do 1080p, 720p, 480, or 360 for whatever reason if you really wanted to go that low and you do have an option of 30 or 60 fps and down here is your bitrate now yes i have mine set stupidly high uh when i render i think the bitrate drops to about there but i say because i can for the bitrate and that's why i have it set to 100 megabits per second now the instant replay stuff it can be useful it's almost like on the xbox the um record that um but it does chew through your ram like you would not believe when you have it turned on and i tend to go like i think i had it in csgo enabled and it dropped me from like 200 fps down to 30 or 40 and stuttering so yeah it it's not the best um, that's why I just record, like, pretty much everything to begin with. Um, the broadcast settings, you have <clears throat> your resolution. You don't have quite as much, uh, of a, like, option range. Um, but yeah, you do still have the 60 FPS, which I'm actually going to turn down to 30. You have your bitrate, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube, and turn on broadcasting. All right, fine. The instant replay, that just shoots you back to the record settings. Um, and then I have microphone and uh, the camera disabled. And I'll open this back up for you, just so that you guys can see it. Now, if I really want to, yes, I could drop this down to like there and be perfectly fine. Now, the thing is, do I want to? 
Not really, because, you know, I have like a one terabyte hard drive that I just record all my video stuff to to begin with. So for me, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, so yeah, you do also have your presets, which low. Okay, not quite sure. Usually it changes the FPS as well. But I guess, you know, <clears throat> I guess with the update they changed that a little bit. Who knows? So there is one more thing that I do want to go over, and it's the, uh, some people call it the HUD, but it stands for uh, Heads Up Display Layout. So camera, I have that turned off. Um, because if I had it on, then the Logitech G920 that I am currently using would show up. <clears throat> Status indicator I have down in that corner. FPS I have up in the upper right corner. Viewers I also have down there. And comments I have over on the left side. And yes, you can turn these off. Like if I wanted to, I could turn that off. And you can see it over here as well. Um, I'm not going to go through all of this because some of this does have a little bit of personal stuff in it, but okay. Um, all right. So in order to record your desktop, or anything that's not like a game, you do have to go down to the video capture thing. Oh wait, no, the privacy control thing down at the very, very bottom and turn on desktop capture for instant replay, record and broadcast, broadcast and screenshot. By default, it's set to no, just change that to yes. And you can record, do whatever you want. So I hope this has helped many, many people out in being able to set shadow play up. Um, by default, it does come fairly well done. Um, I, I prefer uh, quality a lot more than um, a lot of people do. So for me, doing that 100 megabits a second, yes, it's insanely overkill. But to me, it, it's completely worth it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.